So going back to the third dream that I had, I had a third dream where I, um, <coughs> it was weird. It was like there was this maze of archways <coughs> and I was put into some sort of, I don't know, it was like, it was a sacrifice dream basically, but it was like <coughs> talking about the, some sort of sacrifice that I needed to set up. And it was, it was, it was, it was interesting because I, we couldn't work out if the sacrifice should be just of me or if we, we should also throw some other people, potential victims in there. And um, I don't know, I can't actually remember what happened in the dream, but at breakfast it was, I was thinking about like how it could play out. And I don't know, I've had a, have an interesting idea of there being like some sort of Illuminati cult that's supposedly been around for, you know, you could say it's been around for long, a long time. I don't know, call it Tidal or something. Illuminati group called Tidal, um, where they actually have members. And I, I don't know if this has actually been a real thing. It is that actually, there must be a group, of, there's a group of people who know about me, <clears throat> what they know, what they do, I, I don't know. But I think it, you should try and make out that this group has already always been around, um, that maybe you pay 200 pound, 250 pounds for a membership, and that money goes into some sort of ac online account. And on this website um you can have like parties and say some of the parties could be like 50 quid if they're just in in some if they're just in a, in a normal venue like a nightclub or something it could just be 50 quid and you go in there maybe you get a free drink um if you want to buy things like a special cloak or if you want to buy a mask or something you know you can have <coughs> sorry, i've got a, my throat i've been coughing all day um and um but you can have like 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 a shop on this on his website um and you can use you can spend your money however you want now make it look quite innocent first um and you you can make make out that over the last few years you've been building up more and more people but if you want to be part of the illuminati you know you have to do things like um you know they can have different stages as well you know i know some people have like a, a, sh a shush tattoo or something oh, my nose is itchy. um but yeah, that's that's how I imagine there being a secret occult that on level one, it's just shit and just average. Um, and you just basically go there to potentially meet people, but then have different levels where you find out more things about it. And you can have on one of the higher levels being like um, watching shows. I mean, you can also have shows at these parties, you know, where people will do fire breathing and, and stuff or gambling or or drugs um and and then you can have like a higher level where you have to like sex parties or whatever um and i you know if you don't want to participate you don't have to um but if you want to actually go to one of these well you'd have to dig into your account um and there always has to be money in the account so um you could say you could say that if you're if, if you have less than 50 50 pounds in the account um then the money will be sent back to you and you'll no longer have account so you, you always have to have money in there and if you are to buy drinks in this place or, or spend any kind of money you have to use the money in account so that this is a way of like keeping it at like a sort of account based organization where um you don't have to be rich but you have to have money on the account to to be part of the organization but um you can have a bit at some point um that um there is like some sort of a sacrifice like a sacrifice that's actually just fake um which is is where um you could say that there's lots of mini sacrifices and you could pretend that there's like some really dark hidden thing where you're doing things against people as well um and I, it might not be me it could just be anyone um like a drug person or a, a prostitute who's done lots of stuff but part of their their agreement is to get drunk and have sex when when very drunk or very intoxicated i, I don't know it could be some sort of dark i think this is what people are assuming the, the illuminati is that there's you know sex parties where people come all over someone and and then expect them to just fall asleep and come all over them like i, I can imagine that being I heard something on a video yesterday where that was supposed to be something that was in the lawsuit of, of Cassie 
um, having semen put all over her and then made to fall asleep with the suit of semen all over her, <laughs> which is very, very gross. And it doesn't even have to be real. You know, if you're trying to fake something, you could just get like milk with and make it more thicker or something and then just pour that all over, but pretend that this is all semen and stuff. And, and you can have part of the account is where you start saying, well, if you want to see this, um, you have to, if, if you want just pictures or if you want a video or whatever, um, you have to start digging into the money that's in your account to see this. So that could be like the higher stages of of the Illuminati. Um, I suppose you could also have like eating off of naked bodies or whatever, um, both male and female. It doesn't have to be just female. Um, and and then, but yeah, on the very highest level, um, you, you could have like the fake version of me. Um, and yeah, when I'm presented as, you know, the one that they've been looking for, I'll say that, say that they've had loads of experiments, you know, like, like the Feast of Tabernacles and stuff is supposed to be like a, a practice run of the real Christ when it's come, or the Illuminati can have cer certain versions of that where you, you take people, prostitutes, and then drug them up and, and have sex when they're drunk. Um, they would have agreed to it beforehand, but you could lie to the the people who are watching it and say that they never agreed to any of this, and 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 make it far more darker than than they actually um, than it actually is. Um, I think definitely people will buy into that. People love a baddie, and people love to blame the Illuminati or some evil male on this um, on this sort of stuff. So tell people what they want to hear. Um, but also make sure that the only people you are talking to are the ones who want to pay for this shit. Um, you can even have shitting on them as as part of as part of the um, um, as part of the. Hey, do you want to pay to see people shit on this woman? I don't know. However sick you can make it, do that. Um, but yes, I think the the ultimate sickness would be to take someone who's not a prostitute, not a drug dealer, definitely not agree to any of this, um, and and yet do the same things that you would do to agreed prostitutes to that person, um, and and that's that would be me at some point, but it's not actually going to be me. It's actually going to be an actor who's agreed to it, but has, um, has, has put, I don't know, <coughs> through CGI, <laughs> through CGI, I put my face on it. Um, but there has to be some sort of catch, which is that this will only happen to this person if a um, certain amount of money can be raised. You know, if this person can raise a million pounds, so you have your target and you say, well, this will happen, providing there is a million pounds to be made out of it. So you can have some sort of really dark thing where horrible shit happens to this one person, even though it's all going to be fake. You're not going to tell them that part. Um, you're, you're going to tell them that this is this is real, this is against their will, and they're not a prostitute, and they're not a drug addict, and they haven't done anything to deserve this. But um, this is just part of our, our, our agreement and our covenant of what, what we do. We're finding this person, and we're going to do all this shit to them but we're only going to do it to them if um we make so much money for it so i don't know how i don't know how you would do it I, I don't want to know how you do it to be honest but the whole point is um to to however small i think that the illuminati is very very small and very hidden and everyone's relating it to some um organization started in the 1700s or whatever with with uh, like presidents and prime ministers and i don't know I don't think you should get them involved in this, um, but I think you should make out that there's a different Illuminati, like like a music industry. Music industry is the darkest. So it, a music industry one, you could call it title or something. I mean, I know that um, Jay-Z and Madonna, and they had something called the title, die title. I know that might just be shaming their thing, but I don't know. Call it a, a specific name. It could be called the Illuminati, yes, but have it as a secret name. Um, where you go on the website under that that name and that's and that's where the information of this is and then you could have get loads and loads of people to sign in at at the the sort of the 250 pound level where you could only be part of this organization um but somehow through this through this thing maybe have have um have information uh, about secrets secrets about the the top level of this group and the top level of this group is to find a woman um, and to do lots of sh shit to her, like maybe poo all over her or put semen all over her or, or I don't know, do all this stuff whilst intoxicated, while she's not being a prostitute, while she's not. And, um, and just but say that, you know, if you want to have any involvement in this, 
you have to pay money basically and i think people would start seeing it as real if they think you have to pay for pay for it um you know if, if people think that there's a group of people that are making millions of pounds out of this or billions of pounds out of it i think they're more likely to believe that it's real and that it is the truth why because they just assume that the people at the top the elites at the top of this illuminati group are all just sick and disgusting so they'll probably believe it in that way you know i think that's why there's so many people that be willing to to jump on bandwagon that um diddy is um is is um an asshole um because people want to believe in the, the assholes are real um clive richard or clive davis or, or i don't know what it's what his manager is i think i've heard a few people say that he's also involved in this and that he's just his sort of player man for someone even higher up and i don't know but if these people if, if, if there is an illuminati group that just gets people on a basic level um with the with possible parties and free drinks or whatever with with fire acts and, and interesting things and then and but you have like a secret about um there being a, an actual victim an actual victim and you can have secret victims where on all the smaller levels there's this, like a pretend victim but they you could say that this is a mock of the real the real victim that they're looking for um and and yes after this has happened and every there's you've managed to make billions of pounds from people voting and maybe it's only like a pound to see this person do something or this person do something i, I don't know what what you'll you'll do but after after that's happened um i i would like to make lots of psychopathic mu music videos where i i take all these songs and say that yeah this is my spirit that's made all these songs and that i'm actually a complete psychopath and that i i would enjoy the fact that I might, that after you die, I'm going to bring you back as a pig and you're going to like live in some pigsty and you're going to be killed after two or three years because, you know, they like to kill young pigs. As soon as they get to a certain size, ow, my nose itches. As soon as they get to a certain size, um, they, they kill them. And, and then when you die, you can go back to being a pig and then you can be a pig again and you can be a pig again. And, and so, yeah, I think that would be, um, you know, I'd really love to do that. Like, to become off seem seemingly innocent and sweet and loving and and then have this sort of fake sacrifice where lots of people treat me as as if i'm just just a sacrifice and then afterwards i get to do lots of videos where i i turn quarter life crisis which eg i've got i've got uh, three quarters of the world that i need to kill and it's a quarter life crisis because i need to kill like six five six billion people Oh, there's lots of people that want me to like lie in bed with cum all over my face. Oh well, they'll be the easy targets, of course. And and then and then they'll be like, shit, I've been fucking with a psychopath, and I'll enjoy the fact that they will spend the rest of their life living in fear because <laughs> that's what psychopaths do. They hurt people and they enjoy hurting people. And I'm now a psychopath. I am a proud psychopath, and I would love the whole world to know this but not at first but yes I, I want to go back and I want to start preparing the ideas for this psychopathic movement that I want to create so that would be my character I can be the angel of God and my negative name could be the psychopath of God because I'm so pissed off with everyone ignoring me for for 11 12 years and um and yes I like that name the psychopath of I'm not very convincing right now. I, I need to get into character. But anyway. 